Hello, I'm David from PRM Taiwan, and today I'm here with Wintech and Engel, Michael and Garo. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Okay, thank you. So the first question is, what do you make of Chinaplast and its developments over the last few years? Yeah, I I look at Chinaplast from the many years of experience I have been here since uh, more than 12 years, both in Shanghai and in Guangzhou. And uh, you can truly tell that the level of um, exhibitors is going up, uh, both in number and in quality. The products are getting more sophisticated. And you cannot tell also from the customer audience that the requirements are not uh, just visiting meet and greet. They come with uh, concrete projects. They come with right technical questions. And uh, truly the China Plus, you can, you can see the quality level, especially when it happens in Shanghai, um, is significantly ramping up. Uh, and you can tell also from, uh, from looking at any booth, like even five or six years ago, the, um, the, the booth quality was uh, a little bit uh, uh, amateurish to uh, to be uh, straight uh, and if you look this year I was there yesterday already uh, it's unbelievable pro how professional and uh, significantly improved uh, everything has been and can you tell me how the markets has developed for injection molding machines over the past few years oh okay thank you for me again um, yeah, from uh, my many years experience here um, in China and the rest of Asia, um, I'm looking at the development of the market overall, that there is a need and there has been for many years the need for high performance and high complexity uh, injection molding uh, machines and equipment. And that market was dominated uh, and is still dominated by uh, the, typically the European manufacturers. Um, how, and there was a, a really low and entry level um, technology. From uh, Engel, we are looking at the market um, with the products out of our Shanghai factory, which are the Engel highly customized, high complexity, high performance applications. Um, but we also, uh, took note of the growing requirements on quality uh, of standard applications. So we introduced five years ago, we started and 2014 we launched the Vintech product line, which goes exactly in that niche between lower or lowest quality equipment and the high performance equipment for standard applications, but where the machine has still um, a very high quality level in terms of uh, energy saving, in terms of availability, in terms of um, years of service, and uh, and the customers really appreciate uh, that. And I believe that the overall market is um, staying uh, on a growing path for the high performance equipment, and at the same time, the mid or standard machine equipment level uh, quality requirements will um, will never stop growing. And can you introduce the new innovations that you've brought to China Plus this year? Yeah, we are quite excited that we have a number of innovations at China Plus. And uh, one of the highlights is our Optimelt demonstration there. We show an LED thick wall lens production with a very short cycle time. Those of you who know injection molding know that thick wall always requires a long cycle time and we do the LED lenses in less than two minutes cycle time, which is very exciting for the big market here in China in the automotive industry. We have also others uh, there, like uh, we show the birth free production of LSR parts for electric vehicles, for example. So we have a static seal there. And we also show for the medical market the production of pipette tips in a clean room condition. And our industry is struggling to find workers at the moment. Mm. Can you explain how Engel uh, will try to overcome this in the future? Yeah, definitely there's a war of talents that does not make it easy. 
What Engel does is we have our own education system in the company for our own workers. So we have an apprenticeship program which we started some four years ago. And this is the what we call the dual education system. That's the same style as we do in Austria in our parent plant. It's a education system which is based on school education and at the same time also education in the plant. That means we have dedicated trainers to teach the profession. We have three professions we train. One is the CNC technicians, one is the mechatronics engineer, and we have plastics technicians. And last year in June, we had the first graduation of the first eight of the apprentices. Currently, we have 51 young people in this education system. And are they all local based? All local based, yes. And can you also tell me what would make a potential buyer choose a European machine over an Asian machine? I think this is uh, based on the level of the machines and the technologies applied. The main difference is the European machines and especially the Engel machines, those are tailor-made. Even though we have, of course, our modules from which we can choose, so we have a lot of pre-configured technologies available, but a very wide range. And uh, when you see the injection molding industry and the demands for different applications, like I said, the Optimal technology, then you have others like uh, the gas-assisted foaming technologies, you have thin wall technologies, etc. Therefore, you need for each of those technologies specific um, options on the machine, a specific type of machine in some cases, and we can cater for those needs, whereas the Asian machines are more focused on the standard applications. Um, I'd like to also ask, uh, following in on that topic, do you think it would be a potential in the future for WinTech to get into that type of capabilities or other manufacturers within Asia to start providing these capabilities? Let me do the first part. Um, the there is definitely the trend to those higher level of technologies and China 2025 is an indicator where the journey should go to and the uh, local and also the, the other Asian competitors also hear this bell ringing. But we are already there since many, many years. So we have uh, the advantage that we already experience in those technologies that we can handle this complexity. And therefore, uh, for us, this is a very good market chance. And I think uh, Wintech can complement what Engel has in the market. Yeah, Gero, you are absolutely right. Uh, as I uh, outlined before, the trend and the requirements, in the, especially in the Chinese market, uh, is going up. Um, but at the, st at the same time, it's not always this ultra high level that is required. And with establishing the, the Vintech brand a couple of years ago, that was exactly our move uh, that we, we saw that the market development is driving in that direction. The customers are getting tired and also from a cost perspective, uh, losing money from machines that are um, really at a, at a very low entrance level for the investment. But <clears throat> if you look at the total cost of ownership uh, calculations, you make money when a machine runs. The, if a machine that is not running was probably cheap in investment, but you're also not generating uh, turnover for your uh, company. And uh, the quality level is not just on the, described by performance, complexity and tailor-made applications, but also by a very simple uh, by a couple of very simple terms. It's output of good parts per day, per week, because that is what you can sell then as a manufacturer to your customers. The quality level of those parts, no rejects. If a truck comes back with whatever component uh, you have to scrap, you're losing money. And then finally, on the energy side, all our machines, whether they are Engel machines or Vintech machines, we put since many years a high level of focus on the energy uh, reduction on those equipment. Yeah? So all our machines have servo hydraulics uh, in standard. Uh, all our all electric machines have high efficient gears and, um, and spindles. Yeah? So th this is the quality level, not just by the, the visual, but all, also by the availability and output of the injection molding equipment. And moving on from equipment, 
Uh, what would you be looking for in potential equipment or part suppliers in the future? We source some of the components of the machines already locally here, like the steel part and so on. But a lot of the manufacturing on those parts <coughs> and the machining, we do in-house. Because that's the angle philosophy. We have a very uh, high level of in-house production. And I think we will not change this in the future. Because that's the way to control the quality. Also, of course, to pro protect your IP on those uh, parts. Um, I think we are on, on a very good path to do some localization. And we are uh, very lucky that a lot of those international companies, which are our suppliers in Austria, for example, are already here in China. So we can work with the same suppliers, European suppliers also, um, as we do in Austria or in, in Germany. And uh, that helps a lot. But I think we will not do a major shift into localization of parts in Angle. So Keep keeping the quality up as it is already <coughs> is paramount. This is, there is no compromise. alternative, no compromise. Excellent. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you both today, and I hope you have a successful show. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.